Hi, this is David Moskowitz of Membership Academy. In this video presentation, I'm going to show you a demonstration of the new modification by A member, which allows you to send out your content to your users on a sequential or incremental basis. This is also sometimes known as drip feed content. Uh, however, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to call it incremental content. So let's take a look at the actual product page. Now, this is a product which I've made for my A member site and it's a very standard setup. However, as you can see down here, we now have lessons available. And I've already created a series of five different lessons which are sent out or available weekly. And each of these expire four weeks after they are available. And we can take a look here. As you can see here, I signed up on January 13th. My account expired on February 10th which gave me access to the first four lessons. However, that first lesson has already expired, so it's no longer available. And then I joined up again, or I, re I continued my account February 11th, and that will continue into March. So that gave me access once again to the past lessons, as well as this fifth lesson. So let's take a look at what it would look like every week that a user has access. So this is an example of a user who signed up on February 11th. Today is February 14th, so they are still within that first week. So they're going to be having access to lesson number one. And I've made a sample page for this. So if we click on the link, we are brought to that first lesson. And in this case, I have a flash lesson. The flash video is not loaded up on the site, so you can't actually see the lesson. And this is just a basic HTML page that I've uploaded to the lesson area. Okay, now let's add a week to this. And as you can see, we now have access to the second lesson. And let's skip ahead to the fourth week. Okay, and as you can see, we still have access to all those lessons, including the fourth lesson. Now let's say that the user's account expires. And in this example, the lesson started on January 11th and finished up on the 8th. So the subscription has expired, so the user no longer has access to those subscriptions. However, if they decide to continue with the lessons, for example, they make a payment. So now you can see the payment has begun again on February 14th, which is today, and goes until the 13th, which the recurring point will be and they once again have access to some of those back lessons. Now, lesson number one has expired. However, they now have lesson five available to them. And you can set these times to be all different variables. You could set them for daily, weekly, monthly, even yearly if you wish. And you can continue to give access to this for longer periods of time. So there's a lot of possibilities available with this new modification. You can order this modification from the A members site which is linked to on this page. But before you do, if you are a premium member, you can go to your members page and get a coupon for $20 off that modification. In addition, if you are a premium member, you also get a $30 off coupon for a new license for a member. And once you have your premium membership, you'll be able to watch the video install guide for the incremental content modification, along with how to set up your products page for that content. So go ahead and upgrade your account now if you're not a premium member, and we'll see you on the other side. That will conclude this video presentation. Thank you very much, and good luck with your membership site.